It shouldn't be bad news that we should share the good news. Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas, and today I wanted to talk to you guys about sharing the gospel. Have you heard that word before, gospel? Gospel just means good news. And so when we talk about sharing the gospel, we're talking about sharing the good news of Jesus Christ. Now, I don't know why, but for some reason, it can be really, really hard to share the gospel. And it can kind of seem like an unfun or scary thing to do sometimes. But I don't know about you guys, but at the park by my house, there's this truck that comes by. It's the it's ice cream truck. At my old neighborhood, we had one too, and we called him the Ding Ding Man. And uh, he had like a little bell up on top of his truck, and he had ice cream in the back because he had this freezer in the back. And uh, this one, it just comes to the park when there's a bunch of people there. It's sort of like a food truck, but it just has ice cream in it. And so we were at this park, me and a bunch of my friends, and you know, a whole bunch of us, we were out there playing baseball, you know, practicing baseball, and we had our coaches there with us, and, and we're playing baseball at the baseball diamonds, and we're a little ways away from the playground where, they, where the guy who has the ice cream truck where he usually sets up. And as we were playing baseball, as we were practicing, this kid comes running up to us from the playground, and, and it, was, it was kind of a long run, so he's like all exhausted, but he's like, guys, guys, the ice cream truck is broken, free ice cream. And we're like, calm down, calm down, you're saying some really important stuff here, we want to make sure we got this straight. And so he's, he's, he starts, he catches his breath, and he says, the ice cream truck broke down. The freezers are busted, and the guy who sells the ice cream is giving away free ice cream because it's all going to melt in a couple of hours anyways. And so we all like looked at our coach, and we were like, can we go? And he looked at us, and he was like, obviously. And so we all grabbed our stuff, and we ran over to the playground, and we all got free ice creams, and it was, it was delicious. It, it almost it started to kind of melt a little bit, but it was still so good. And so we ate all our ice cream, and then we started. We went and we told people about the ice cream truck because he still had a whole bunch of ice cream left, and he didn't want it to go to waste. And I think my coach might have paid him anyways. But that is what sharing the gospel should be like. You know, that kid who came and he told us about the ice cream, it wasn't like he went and he got the ice cream, and he was like, oh, man, I really should go tell other people about this ice cream. Oh, but I don't want to. No, that's not what he was thinking. He was like, this is amazing. I got to go tell everybody. And that's exactly what he did. He went and he told everybody he could find about this super cool thing that was happening at the playground. And here's the thing. I know that it, it, it can be hard to share the gospel with other people. I know that sometimes it can be scary to tell other people about Jesus. I know that sometimes you might be worried that your friends might not like you or they might think that you're pushy or maybe you think I might not say it in the right way. And those sorts of thoughts are exactly what Satan wants you to think about. God wants us to share the good news with everybody that we meet, but Satan wants us to get worried about, about all the little details. You know, what are my friends going to think? Or I don't really know this person well enough to tell them about this really important thing. Or, you know, this, that, or the other. There's so many things that Satan wants to confuse us with on this really, really important issue. But if, if you and I, if we focus on why we want to share the good news, that can really help. It's not that we should share the good news because we should share the good news. Or that we should share the good news of Jesus Christ because, because our pastor said we have to. Or because the Bible says that we have to. Or because our parents or anybody says that we have to. We should share the good news of Jesus Christ because it is good news. Who doesn't like sharing good news? Now again, because it is such an important thing, Satan is definitely going to try to get you to not do it. Satan does not want you to share the good news, and so he's going to send anything that he can your way to try to convince you not to do this thing. But when it comes right down to it, the fact that Jesus Christ died for you, and that through him you can have new life that starts today and lasts forever and ever and ever, that's amazing news. And that's news that we should share. Again, not because, not because it's a rule that you need to share, but because it's good, 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 good news. So my challenge to you guys today is that you would share the good news of Jesus Christ, that you would share with other people what God has done for you. It doesn't have to be this big, scary thing, and it doesn't have to be perfect. You know, that kid who came in and told us about the ice cream, you know, he was half out of breath by the time he got to us. We didn't even totally understand what he was saying at first. And that might be how you end up sharing the gospel. It doesn't have to be perfect. But if God is at work in your life, if God has done amazing things for you, if you have begun a new life with Jesus Christ, then share that new life with others. Because the gospel is really good news. Hey guys, I hope you liked this video. And as always, if you would like to give your life to Jesus, if you would like to accept the free gift of salvation, 
that comes from his sacrifice, then I really want to encourage you to find somebody to help walk you through that. I think it's really important. You know, it's really cool that you and I can can interact the way that we do online, you know, in the comments and even just you watching these videos and, you know, us, us getting to kind of live life together is really cool. But it's so important to get plugged in to the local church. It's so important to, to be with other Christians. And so if this is the only way, you know, watching these videos, is if this is the only way that you can get plugged into the church, you know, I'd love to be there for you. But I really, I really want to encourage you that if you want to give your life to Jesus, if you want to accept the free gift of salvation, find someone who is a Christian that's nearby. You know, it could be your pastor or your parents or your aunt or uncle or grandparents or even a friend. Anybody that you know, I want you to talk to them about accepting the free gift of salvation. Because before you can share it, you got to have it. So yeah, I want to encourage you guys, if you haven't already made that step, I want you to find somebody and ask them about it. You don't have to make the decision right now, but just talk to somebody about it. I'm sure they would love to walk you through it. Bye, guys.